Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Are you for or are you against the face masks? This is a question that for some reason has been very contentious right now. And I think it's a good conversation to have because on one side you have everyone wants to be safe from this, this virus, this pandemic that's sweeping the world. Um, but on the other side, mental health awareness has never been uh, greater in this day and age. Tom, what's the relationship between face masks and mental health? I was having this conversation this morning with my partner. One of the things that I know about the brain is that it takes a very, very, very long time after we're born for it to actually fully develop. It's 90% developed roughly by the time we're three years old, but it still continues to grow as fast as it did in the womb for that first three years uh, when we're outside, which is crazy because what that means essentially is that the brain is taking in so much information uh, environmental, social, you know, biological, all these things that affect the mind and the body, uh, that it's going to hold on to pretty much for the rest of our life. This is irreversible learning. And one of the things that I'm really interested in is early childhood development and trauma as a counselor and how nonverbal communication is so implicit in the way we act but how a lot of that is actually being taken away from, from infants in this day and age. Because if we're all wearing face masks, how, how are we expected to play the cuckoo game? You know, or how are they expected to read smiling and negative emotions and how they expected to, you know, understand what it means to be happy and sad and joy and learn social cues. I don't know, I haven't really seen many other people talking about this. But uh, I can imagine that for people out there that are far more uh, advanced in terms of you know the psychology and the neuropsychiatry of uh, of emotional regulation, this must be an interesting topic of conversation. People are talking now about COVID normal, you know, and we have this kind of COVID normal thing happening uh, in Melbourne, in Australia here, because we've just been in lockdown for basically six months, and people have been talking about loneliness and a lack of identity and purpose. And, and what that's doing to mental health. But for kids and emotional regulation and trying to figure that out after the brain is really, you know, hardened or cemented and, you know, neuroplasticity is taking all of these ideas and just blowing it out. And there's a really good book out there called The Brain That Changes Itself by Norman Deutsch, which is a fascinating read. And how the brain wires and fires and it, it prunes different synapses and, and neurons and things to respond to different environments. You know, that, that's a whole vlog in and of itself. But what is true is that, especially in those early years, a lot of the stuff is kind of hardwired. It's very difficult for us to change that. One of the ways you can change it is to bring awareness to it and then change the behavior, knowing that you have that greater awareness and where that behavior is actually coming from. But for young kids, failing to read smiles and what goes on when pupils dilate in response to surprise and all this sort of stuff, I don't know, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting time. I, I think we don't fully understand uh, how this virus will actually change our world uh, and generations in the years to come. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be interesting. I think a really good example of this, I was talking to a friend this morning, is, uh, you know, 50, 60, 70 years ago, there's all those ads of doctors saying, well, doctors smoke the camel cigarettes for the best in the world. Wonder what's gonna happen in, in 15, 20 years time when we look back on how we were living in the virus time and go, wow, shit, that really kind of did change, you know, uh, humanity. So what do you think? Do you think that the virus, you know, will, will be able to go back to normal and that'll be that? Or do you think there will be some serious repercussions from, um, from what we've all had to do here? Can you hear your thoughts? Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.